to another edition of Meet Your Council, where we highlight the members of the Murfreesboro City Council. City TV had the pleasure of speaking with Shane McFarlane, an entrepreneur, proud parent, and member of the City Council for six years. McFarlane tells us about his life service to the City of Murfreesboro and how his foundation and family enables him to excel in all of his endeavors. You might see these logos all around the City of Murfreesboro, all of which are owned by Shane McFarland. Um, I'm self-employed, um, have my own construction company, and we specialize in custom residential, and then we also do custom commercial, focusing on medical and uh, office office work. So um, we have a small staff, like most small businesses, we run a pretty lean, lean group. Um, and then as a council, you know, as a council member, it's a part-time job, so a lot of my daily council obligations are really determined um, it's not really a set schedule besides we have council on Thursday nights but we'll have board and commission meetings and different things and then really it's almost um, not equating myself to Batman but you have a bat signal where you'll get an email or you'll get uh, some sort of question from a from a resident and you sort of go as as you're dictated by the residents so um, cover a large area in Murfreesboro, so we're very, um, very active in many different things, which allows me to sort of see different things, and that's uh, that keeps you pretty busy. Murfreesboro has experienced extreme growth since McFarland was first elected in 2006. The, I think the growth is a double-edged sword. Uh, in the last six years, I think that we've seen the residential growth has really taken a decrease. But at the same time, we've seen commercial and we've seen uh, other areas in, in Murfreesboro that have stayed, stayed pretty steady. You know, in the last six years, we've had a new hospital built. Um, we've had the gateway and the avenues, all area that's been built. Uh, we've had several different large projects, Amazon, that, that really broke ground about six months ago. So uh, the growth, I think, as a council member, what we look at is a combination between our population residential growth and then also our business growth and as the economy has slowly gotten better we're seeing things improve uh, but it, the growth really over the last six years has stayed pretty pretty steady Keeping steady the small town feel in Murfreesboro is ideal to McFarland, who grew up 55 miles away in Mont Eagle. I'm, I'm from a small town. Um, we didn't have a red light in my small town, you know, so it's 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 small. Uh, but at the same point, you you um, you knew everyone, so you waved at everyone, and when you go to different places, you to sit down and eat. You still have the people who would always say, "Hey, how you doing?" and that's the part that I think that, that draws people to Murfreesboro, that although it's a large city, it's still a city that is, um, is, is it's home. So, and I think that's the thing that people have, have been drawn to, and that's the one thing I think I still uh, would cherish and sort of covet, that Murfreesboro would keep that, um, that true southern town that where, you know, you may not know someone, but at the same time, everyone's from the city and you, you uh, treat each other the way you want to be treated. McFarland credits the person that he is today to his family and upbringing. I mean, we literally were the first two, um, two kids in our generation of McFarlands that ever went to, to college. And so that was something that mom and dad really just pushed on education. Uh, Sean is a doctor, uh, went, is a doctor of pharmacy, so he works at the VA. Um, and, and twin brother, so it's that's something that's interesting that I'm a twin and had twins. Uh, but uh, mom and dad are probably as important of a role model as anyone that I've had. My dad um, worked his way up from a teller all the way up to the president of the uh, president of the bank. And uh, mom is uh, just recently retired, but she is has been was a school teacher. Um, working on uh, early childhood development so she worked with kids birth to two on development so uh, you know it's really for, coming from a small town it's it's something that they instill work ethic and that you know you you have to work hard to to, to uh 
to progress in life and although education is important that's something that they really stress to us it's also something that they stress is to treat people with respect and treat people the way you wanted to be treated. So. Fast forward five years from now, McFarland would like to remain true to his foundations in family, faith, and being a civil servant. Um, I, I, you know, my, my most important um, with my faith and um, with just my most important thing is my family. Um, I, you know, you have faith, family, country, um, and, and I'm not going to do anything that will sacrifice my family. So I think that's the most important thing as a father that I can do is to raise my kids and leave a legacy of what's right and what's wrong. So, you know, in the next five years, I want to say that I want to raise my kids in a way that's fitting um, to be able to leave a mark with them.